So I know Josh personally doesn't eat fast food. No, I don't. I love fast food. I'm and fine. I'll say it. I'll be the first one to say I love me a good late night snack. <laughs> I think I'm but, fast food. But, it's not, but I'm guilty on other stuff. Like, you know, I do stuff behind closed doors that are not good. Like, I will Ooh. polish off a, a whole box of fucking... Um, Uncrustables. Uncrustables. Absolutely. I love Uncrustables. I will polish off a box and be in my bed watching TV and nobody ever will know. So Ever. hypocrites? Are we doing the yeah. whole box? Hypocrites. Hypocrites. We're hypocrites. doing we're doing a hypocrites. Ooh, hypocrites. We're yeah. hypocrites. You eat the whole box? I'll eat the whole box. How many comes in there? Depends. Sometimes four, sometimes six, sometimes twelve, whatever. Well if there's two oh, boxes, there's eight. Did yeah. you see they got what do they got now? Raspberry? Oh see, I'm on this new thing. Chocolate. They got the chocolate. The hazelnut? One, the hazelnut chocolate. Oh, what God. is it? Nutella? Oh my gosh, it's so it's not good. chocolate, it's hazelnut. Is it? Nutella? Yeah, it's like yeah, Nutella. It's like Nutella. It's I'm like just Nutella. saying. Hazelnut. Yeah, and it's, and I'm a sucker for that. And then, so I just got on this other thing too, where um, I will take peanut butter <laughs> <laughs> and shove it up your ass. <laughs> That's how much I love it. But I'll heat it up in the microwave for a little bit and I'll pour it over some ice it. cream. I'll Bro. freeze dry it. I'll crush it up and I'll <laughs> slide. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sucker when it comes to peanut butter for sure. Peanut butter, pour it over yes. vanilla, cho- uh, you know, ice cream. <sighs> Bro, I've never thought about that. Oh man! You know my kite. It's signed. It's kind of like guilty pleasure like that. But around Thanksgiving, I like to warm up the cranberry sauce and put it on vanilla ice cream. Oh, I oh, never, I've never even thought of that. that. It's so. So good. speaking it's hypocritical though, I'm judging everybody who doesn't who does that shit. You know, I'm just like, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? So I can try it later. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, man. I, you know, I say things that I'm probably the most hypocritical when it comes to driving. Use your fucking turn signal, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. We did a whole segment on it. I do not use my turn signal. Oh, my God. Now, oh, what dude. you do now that you're Snacks. in a goddamn brand new car. Well, Let's and I really you. like the turn signals that are on it. So I'm like, <laughs> so yeah, I'm like, yeah, look at my fancy ass turn signal. They really are nice. I saw it last night. It's a, it's a beautiful car. I'm the first person to be like, you son of a, why are you going the speed limit? You yeah. dirty piece of... And then when someone's then passing go. me, you go, okay, speed racer, chill out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm the first one to do that. Why are you speeding, you piece of sh... You know? I yeah. love it. Or I'll talk crap about, like, tequila or something and then uh, get off. Can I have a shot of tequila? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, that's hypocritical for sure. I think about drinking every day, guys. <laughs> yeah. Have you always, throughout the whole span of your sobriety? Uh, or just more and more and more? And more. I think I really think there's a seven year itch because I feel like the past year or something like that I've been like oh, I want to yeah. drink yeah. I just don't think you'll ever do it I don't know I might I, I might just don't not. think so I want to I mean from just the current events you know that's that's gone in in mm-hmm. your life I feel like nothing is gonna like, like if that's gonna not gonna break me well, for you, for those that don't know my dad passed away about six months ago and I thought that was for sure when I was gonna start drinking again yeah. and I didn't you know, so I to don't me know. that's like makes you untouchable now. You know what I mean? Because I mean, how can anything get any worse? What else is worse than that? Nothing. You know, so yeah. I, I don't know. But there's sometimes like I really like in the bar when you're handing out shots or something. Like there's something inside me telling me just grab it and just just grab it and <laughs> shoot it. Oh, yeah. dude. You guys have probably seen me in those weak moments. Like when you guys think I'm kidding, I'm like really yeah, like and pushing like, myself. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> like just like, do, it. do it. I do think that if it was to happen though, you just have to. Hopefully, I'm around. You know what I mean? I mean, not in a negative way, but more in just like, you know, uh, I want to be in that moment with Snacks way. And I think if it does happen, it's going to be something that is completely off the cuff. And it's going to be, a, I'm just, and it's going to be a thing. It's not going to be yeah. a planned out, hey guys, I'm breaking sobriety, throw it a party. You know, it's not going to no. be like that. No. That's how I envision it though. Yeah. I envision it because there's so many people that are like, I want to drink with it you. It will not happen that way. The craziest thing about it is like, there's so many people that don't know me drunk. Mm. You know, and that's kind of like crazy. I feel like there's more people that don't know me drunk, yeah, yeah. than I do. I'll, I'll, here's something that's hypocritical: is f. f. I love that snacks is sober, but I want to be there when but he you drinks. Hate that I'm <laughs> yeah, sober. I want to be there when he drinks, <laughs> and I want to get drunk with him. Yeah, I mean that is super hypocritical. You want to talk about the? I mean that is 
that's upper level hypocritical right there. There's times where I'm like, oh man, this I just think we'd have so much fun. That's, you're grounded. I'm changing the subject. Like no, like I'm the type of like because I've because I've done this before. Like I'm the one that's throwing beers in the fans, and I'm the one that's standing on couches and like just doing wild shit. You yeah, know? I like that. Just being, just being ridiculous. What's the word I'm looking? Like literally, if uh, if I'm getting drunk with all the boys, I'm stand. Yeah, no, no, no. Like, wait, I'm like, not- like a wild animal. Yeah, like I'm uncaged. Like I will get all the boys together and I will do like a big stupid speech and make us all drink, like yeah. frat frat boy type of stuff. Yeah. No, that's me, dude. That's, that's me fun. Drunk. I'm feral. I'm that's feral. Yeah, for sure. I have I never that. seen you drunk before. Feral. Actually, that's I've not seen true. Bay, I have. I've served you when you've been feral. I've served you and you've been lit. I just like to have fun. Yeah. <laughs> I just, just want like to have fun. <laughs> you know what? White squirrel wasted. I will talk white about squirrel <laughs> shit about people, about colors and what mm. people wear. And my closet consists of only the color black. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, or I'll say, oh man, I really need to, I need to venture out and widen my horizons. Nope, I'll just buy another black T-shirt. Yeah, this, this is me venturing out. Yeah, dark gray. Yeah. With, I mean, like with it. writing, on, with it. writing with on it. With writing on it. print, yeah. which is yeah. not like If snacks. you go down my Amazon or eBay previous history, it's black shirt, black shirt, black shirt, black tank top for summer, everything. It's like a uniform. My favorite color is red, and I love to wear like a red shirt, you know, here, a red tank top, you know, but it's, it's loud, you know what I mean? And I feel like sometimes even when I wear it, I'm just like, man, I don't know. But, I mean... I do mess around with a lot of black, but I'll dabble in some blue and some red and stuff. I ain't afraid of color for sure. Yeah. I think it just depends on if I have a fake tan or not. <laughs> oh. If I have a spray <laughs> tan, I'll wear a lot of different things. I can't picture you out on a boat. Out? Yeah, me neither. Out yeah. and about or out? Out on a boat. No, I can't either. <laughs> out and about? Or like riding a jet ski or like yeah. at the lake. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah boats and hose. Yeah. Boats and hose. I just feel like you're like at home or Mr. Lucky's. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like playing home, pool. home DM or playing pool. Right. Am I, am I far off? Nope. <laughs> not, not, not in the last couple of years of my life. My yeah. life has changed. Relationships do that to you. Mm-hmm. I like it now, but at first I was like, I want to be feral. I want to get drunk. I want to go on the lake. I want to do this. It just changed. Just well, I mean, you've been, you've been grounded woman. now. I mean, that happens for everybody, yeah. right? Yep. I feel like. Like when you go into no, and that it doesn't happen to everybody. If you go into a relationship, then that's most likely going to happen. Speaking of which, new topic that we're segueing to right Let's now. Let's go. New video right here. Why is it so hard for men like myself and Josh to commit? Why why do we not commit and why do we not have girlfriends? I can answer that very easily. I think. Careful. I mean, I can. But I'm not going to right now. Snaps, you are. <laughs> <laughs> There's something inside me, and I don't know what it is. It's always kind of been like this. It's it's like, uh, okay, you look at Dan Bilzerin or Bilzerin, whatever. Yeah. Like, if a guy has a lot of women and he's got a lot of money, he's a playboy. It's like, oh, look at that lifestyle. But if it's a regular guy and he's got more than one woman, he's a scumbag. He's a degenerate. You know, right. why is that? But anyways, that's getting a little off the subject, but. I don't think I'm committed because there's something inside me that's always like, want, what's the next best thing? You know what I mean? Like, uh, like a priority. Like, maybe I just haven't found that woman that's going to make me be like, I have to, you know, settle down. I did have a girl. I've had three girlfriends my whole life, and I'm 41 years old. The latest was like, I, I gave it a shot, and I didn't know I could like, I didn't know I had it in me to, you know, like, be devoted to her 100% committed to her. And I did for a couple months. It just didn't work out. But I, I don't know. It's just something inside me. is like always like the next best thing. Yeah. When does yeah. it end? You know, I totally get that for sure. I don't. I, okay. Explain why. Explain maybe you found, side. maybe you found the best thing. Maybe. I just feel like that's part of, I feel like being in relationships and find, trying to find somebody is part of it and is the goal. What's the longest time period that you've been single? Like four years. Oh, really? Okay, that's good. Look, I'm going to say this, Lake Havasu. There's too many goddamn pretty women out there. That is. <laughs> and I love you all. And okay? I love yeah. all, every single one of you. I love every sing- Zoom in. Baby. <laughs> I love you. And you know who I'm... And you know who I'm talking to. All 14 of you. 
<laughs> All right, it's not that bad, but I mean, there is some damn pretty women out there. And I just very pretty. No, there there is for me. I love me a good pretty woman. So. Yes. No, no, I mean, and, and so do I. For me, I think I know what it takes to be committed into a relationship. You know, I was in a ten year relationship. For all you guys that know me, for ever I was in a 10 year relationship but in a five year relationship you know twos and twos i know what it takes to actually be committed to a relationship so for me right now while i'm single right now is because i really is going to take a lot for someone to come in and take that piece away yeah you know what i mean yep. because i know what i want you know i got my you know, stuff together, whatever. I, I know what's going on. You know, I, I, I'm at that, mat- I don't know what you want to call it. I guess it is a matured state of mind in the sense that I'm very comfortable with, you know, being alone and, and, uh, which could be dangerous too, because they say solitary is also extremely dangerous. You know, snacks is over there doing, I don't know what, but yeah, it's, it would take somebody special for sure. And I think it's going to happen and it will happen. And I just want it to be the last one. If that makes sense. You know, I'm not, I'm jaded. I'm not jaded. I just, if I'm going to go in, you know what I mean? I want it to be, I don't want to have to do that again. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really picky on this, this last stretch, you know, you know what I mean? And snacks is back. Yeah. That's it for me, I think. <clears throat> I don't know, dude. Special. Nobody wants to be hurt. I think the first relationship I was in lasted 364 days. A year is yeah, 365 was, days. Yeah. On that third, 364 day, like, she cheated on me. Uh, or that's at least when I found out. Oh, and I God. think that kind of messed up, like, messed it up for me, you know. My second relationship, I moved out here to Lake Havasu, so around 2009. I've been here for 15 years now. I was seeing this woman that had two kids, you know. And I literally moved out here like in four days. I just got up and went. And she kind of was an afterthought. I was here for like a month living with my mom's cousin. And she's like, hey, guess what? I got a transfer. And I'm like, I don't even have my own place yet. I'm living with my mom's cousin. I'm running a room for now. Yeah. And I was like, the one thing that pissed me off is like, you have two kids. So you're going to move to Arizona for someone that you've been with for six months and leave your two kids with their dad? Like, I didn't like that. Yeah. Well, that's a red flag right yeah. there for sure, you know? And I think that, you know what, well, this is kind of crazy, but when I was drinking and when I was partying and when there were girls interested in me, I kind of stayed away because I'm like, why would they be interested in me, dude? I'm like doing blow all the time. I'm drunk. I'm ecstasy like this, like 24-7. What the hell is wrong with you? Why do you like me? Uh Uh-uh. Right. But I don't know. I think I've just kind of been jaded like in the past. And I just, like what you talked about, I don't want to lose my personal freedom. Yeah. Think about what that means, right? I mean, uh, like you're in a relationship and you're, you're, at peace right now and that's amazing and you know but that doesn't always go like that right. you know like snacks he does whatever he wants whenever he wants whenever he wants you know there's a there's a level of peace on that you know what i mean and you can break away you can whatever you want to do it's just whatever you want to do and for someone to to have to share that with somebody then you know you're you're sacrificing that you know and you're hoping to get to the level that you're at yeah and that's what i was going to say for me it doesn't feel like a sacrifice right so yeah I don't feel As like I, I, mean, I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything no, or that anything is. We get and that's the other over, thing too so. because Snacks has talked about this with me. I love love. I love love. Snacks yeah, I do too. loves love. Yeah, I love love. And when you're in it, man, and it's the and you you know you're engulfed in that and you're in love and it's and it's on fire. It is the best feeling. You know what I mean? It really is. I feel I'm romantic. I like it. I like it a lot, you know? So if I, if I buy you something, like, that's me showing love. Like, hey, I thought of you, mm-hmm. you know? It's, and I'm not really actively thinking of it, but those are those actions are. You yeah, know what I mean? love language, right? Or yeah, whatever. exactly. You know, so, like, little things like that mean a lot to me, yeah. you know? But I, I like stuff like that. But you want to tie me down? I don't know. You got to be pretty I don't know special. About that. I, I, will, I will say there's like a few girls I know that I would be like, yeah, I think I'm, I would date them. I, I think, you know? I think you got a little roster of, of some that I know you would date. Little? For sure. Well, a little I'm in the kidding, sense I'm like, just you know. there's, a, <laughs> there's a couple girls that I think, yeah, you know, I'd give this a shot and, date, and be committed to them. Say, yeah. At least give it a shot. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. I think so. But yeah, I think that's like my main thing. Like, I'm afraid to lose like my personal freedom. Yeah. And I think that's a good reason. Yeah. You know, and then, you know, the women out there, 
uh, should all understand that, you know, in that sense. And, and, and again, I'm going to say this again, and we've talked about this before. That does not mean don't try. You know what I mean? Like, come on. Come yeah. get at me. You know what I mean? Come at me. Come get me. Like, that does not mean, oh, well, he's not dating. He's not in a dating state of mind. Blah, 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 blah. I don't even want to talk to him. No, that's, I don't want that either. Well, you, you know, know it's crazy. You know? Sorry. No, what, what makes me angry is like when you talk to a female, oh, you always have girls around you. You just want to hook up. Well, yeah, I do want to hook up. Number one, I'm a man and you're mm -hmm. an attractive female. Absolutely. So yeah, okay, you got me. It's not a secret, you it's know? DNA. But how do I know, how do I know that something's not going to develop from that? Yeah. I don't know. And neither yeah. do you. And that's what I was going to say is women have, women say, okay, yeah, I'm, I would like to be in a relationship or if I meet somebody, I have the intent of, of dating them. And a guy will say, oh, well, it's just casual. Girls, it's like a challenge. It's like, okay, well, now I'm going to invest my time and energy into you because I'm going to change your mindset. Yeah. I'm going to change the fact that you just said, no, it's I just want something casual to I'm going to date this girl. <laughs> I like so that. it's crazy. It's like this weird. I like and it's that. true. I've done it firsthand, and I know other people that. Somebody changed my mind. I'm down. Way. Yeah, exactly. That's Somebody a good point. Somebody mind. changed my mind. Yeah. Yep. If, you, if you want to date me, so change my mind. Change my mind. All or of just you. be like me and say, I said, hey. <laughs> hey, and, and come here. Funny, if any of you, if people that know me, I, that is literally what I did. It is not an exaggeration. I yelled this person's name from across the bar and said, come sit right here next to me. I That's said, what it takes. Dude, I said, you're what would you do that to me? I was just going to say, what do would you do if someone said that? <laughs> yeah. What would you do? I'd go sit right next, right, right next there. to him. <laughs> yes, mama. <laughs> that, that dude, hundred percent. For me, this that's extremely attractive. A woman that knows what she wants, bro, and is gonna go out there and get it. What's wrong with that? Snacks? What's Nothing wrong with at that? All. To me, that's more attractive. Exactly. But you know, there's another thing too. It's like chase women, or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, you think there's a lot of pretty girls, you want to chase them or whatever, and then it's like there's this something inside of us. It's like once I know I could have that, I don't want it anymore. Yeah. That, yeah, and that sucks, but that uh, that sounds sad to say, but that's like a casualty of war, and that's going to happen with people. You know, mm -hmm. it happens with women and guys too. Yeah, it does. Well, and I think a lot of people that fear of rejection is huge for a lot of people. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, you know, it gets me mad too about like dating and stuff. It, you've changed. You're not the same person anymore that I once met. Yeah. Well, you know what? I got to know you a little bit more, and I kind of decided I really didn't like you, or maybe we're not compatible. Yeah. So maybe me changing and pushing away is like. Me being nice and saying it's not going to work out. Yeah. Also, uh, that's a good point you brought it up, right? Because there's this thing called the representative, and it's 100% uh, natural. Everybody has it. Everybody does it. When you meet somebody in the beginning, they're giving you 100% of their best self. Yep. It's called the representative. That's who you're dealing with. And there's moment, you know, in the beginning where you're dealing with the representative. And once you get comfortable and once you get then mm -hmm. character and all that stuff starts to set in and the representative goes away. And that's, that's the evolution of a relationship. I think that goes hand in hand with the honeymoon phase. Of course, that's, that's what, what it is. The honeymoon is over. More people right. call it. Same thing, that, I think, yeah. That same type of 100%. Feeling. Yeah, you just yeah. get to know someone more. You get comfortable with them. You know what? This person's kind of annoying, and I didn't really like that. Because in your head, you talked them up so much. You thought yeah. they were like... She's so fine. She's so cool. Like, how many times do you hear that, you know, about someone? She's, that's how you know when a guy's like, oh, yeah. Head up. When they're she's, in, so cool. she's so cool. Like, okay. That is, she's like one of the guys. Okay, you're done, bro. You're you done. are done. done. Yeah, that yeah. is guy code. For Hook, like, line, like, and sinker. Yeah. She's got you. She's dude. got you. And then 100%. inside your head, what's the um, 40 year old virgin? You're putting the pee on a pedestal? Yeah. <laughs> you're putting the pee on a pedestal. Yeah. <laughs> like, why do we do that? Like, people, this is nothing that sucks. Like, people talk up. About, in their own mind, you talk someone up so much, you create this version of them that you think they are, and when they don't live up to that standards or that expectation, you go that crazy. That's dangerous. On. That's dangerous. You have to. I've done it before. Yeah. I've done it a plenty of times. But whose fault is that? It's yours. My fault. It's yours. You know. So now crazy. I'm older. I've changed. I, I know uh, yeah. not to do that. Yeah, I think it's crazy too. That goes hand in hand with people saying, "Oh, well, we were friends first, and it started out as a friendship," because you're not. You don't have this unrealistic expectation of this person. Yes. You're meeting them through their good times, your bad times. You're seeing this person on a different level mm -hmm. that's more authentic and it's it's more real. So I think that a lot of people that say, well, we were friends first or be friends first. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think they're onto something. Yeah, no, there isn't. And uh, actually, I think there's like a statistic out there of like 
um, relationships that last a long time are actually friends first and then they go into relationships. It's just super rare though, you yeah. know, but snacks is a great example of that in the sense that um, he loves to have women around him. And then for, for anybody who's wondering, he's not banging all these chicks, you know, he likes to have female friends, you know, so do I, you know, we all do, you know, it's something organically happens through that then it happens then it happens yeah. you know what i mean who cares who do, i mean like if you had the choice not i mean not everyone's everyone's different but if you had the choice to have like pretty women around you kicking all the time why would you not do that yeah, why not why i don't not? have to be having sex with them no yeah. we can be friends absolutely not like the thing is i i feel like uh and you know what the women that i'm friends with i feel like i have like a deep ass connection with yeah you know well, just like my guy friends pretty girls can awesome. be nice too and pretty girls can be funny and yeah. all these things i think that especially in havasu people get this oh well they have they have all these plastic surgery or mm -hmm. whatever the case may be and that takes away from their personality or something in some weird way and it doesn't have to no yeah i totally just agree they're pretty doesn't mean that they're not giving you a genuine connection or yeah i want to slide into something else real anything. quick slide red flags what are your no matter what don't care how hot they are don't care how attracted they are don't care what are your you can't handle it red flags you're done the one thing i can't handle and the big red flag to me is someone posting like five ten selfies a day yeah it like, bothers you huh it does to me it's like your mental illness is showing it you're <laughs> You're letting everyone see it. Like, why do you have to have a selfie like this? And then the next one, you're like that. And then you're like this. And then, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Why not just create a video for yourself and you look at that video all day? You know? Right. <laughs> like, no. Like, why need the validation? Why are you posting 10 selfies a day? No, I. And I'm not, I'm not being dramatic. Some people are posting like five to 10 selfies a day. So no matter how hot she is, she wants to get with you, no matter what, you're going to be like, no, because you just posted me selfies. Define get with you. <laughs> <laughs> Are we talking okay, about like so a, a hookup? I will. I can't. You can't. There's just something inside me that says like there's something wrong there. Yeah. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, for me, red flags that that I cannot stand, and I guess this goes more off the social media stuff, is just like obsession. You know what I mean? I'm okay with a little crazy. I'm okay with a little, you know, kind of. But like, if you, if we're not, if we're just like you know, banging or hanging out or whatever, and you're obsessive over me already, and we're not even dating, I can't do it. Obsessive or possessive? Possessive. Yeah. Actually, obsessive is okay. Yeah, like, be, I want you to be obsessed with me, but yeah, don't be, be possessive obsessed. over me. Don't be me. possessive, yeah. right? You know what I mean? If I go to move over here, you know, whatever over there, you don't need to ask me why I do that. Come on, you know what I mean? It's just, it's too much, you know? And I, I mean, I like a Shadow? little, yeah. Like, it's, okay, it's just too much. It's yeah. just too much, you know? And then don't just sweat me, you know, all the time about everything that I do. You know what I mean? I cannot handle that. I need the freedom. I give them the freedom. I need the freedom. You know, that's my that's my biggest thing. I can't I can't do it. Yeah, I think if if you want to invite someone out to dinner, you'll ask them. Yeah, you know, like how come you don't ever invite me out? Yeah. Oh yeah. There's exactly. there's a reason why that person hasn't invited you out. Right. You and, know, so don't. That's yeah. those are the things. You know what I mean? I can't stand it. They don't gotta be. That's around, another little you know? red flag to me. Yeah. Yeah. I Part have, of every little thing. I have too much fun kicking it with the bros. With the boys. It's better with the boys. It's, you it's know? better with the boys. Shout dude. out. Shout out Malachi and Caleb. What Cody, about all those guys? What about you? Are you afraid to talk about your red flags? I guess I just haven't put much thought into it. Oh, okay, shit. We'll put oh, some get out of here. thought into it. Oh I know. I, I'm really good at You just like out, everything? I'm, I'm just really easygoing. I'm good at pointing out red flags for other people. <laughs> okay, well, let's see some of those. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Try to put me on blast. Oh. Hey, this is blast session. Full I don't blast know. Ourselves. I think. Uh, Red flags. I guess. I don't know. So. You can do anything you want around Caitlin, and she's good with it. It doesn't matter. She has no yeah, red flags. She has no, no, no biggie. She's, she's perfect. Cool. Yeah, she's good. Nothing bothers her. Nothing. Caitlin literally does very not give few, a flying f. Very few things do. Yeah. So wow. what bothers you then? <laughs> we'll be There's fast be forwarding something. and editing this segment right here because we're trying to get it I out of here. I don't know, you guys. I okay. just don't know. What about over texting? Yeah, I, I think that's a red flag. I ignore the ones that <laughs> I ignore all of them. It doesn't matter. Okay, See, I'm not wired so, like that. I wish I was wired like that. I just can't do it. My red flag is would be the Caitlin side. 
if she's ignoring my she's chest, indifferent. I'm done. She's know? indifferent to uh, everything. Yeah. You yeah. are walking red flag for sure. Yeah, she is. For sure. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you. We still love you. Yeah. Thank you. But thank gosh we're not dating you. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine like, texting okay. your girlfriend and she gets back to you? Oh, I don't no, know. No, because her dude has priority, you know? Oh, yeah. She's, she's going to get the text that, back. Yeah, come on. That's yeah. got to be the exception, you know? She, I mean, don't get me wrong. Even then, I'm like, I'll talk to you in like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's safe, dude. None. That's it. There's no way. And this video. There's My no mom way. will call me. I'm like, all right, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> oh, I'm not in man. Right now. You know what? This is not really red flags, but you know what I hate? Phone calls. Yeah. Oh, so call me. You want to talk? Call me. No. Just I want to text. I don't want to talk. I want to text. I want it to be concise and a few little letters, and that's it. Let, let's get the meat and potatoes. I don't need all the fluff. Okay. That. I'm not as bad as snacks with the phone calls thing, but do, don't you dare ever, ever, ever FaceTime me. Don't ever FaceTime me. Yeah, that's another one. I nope. Like. No, nope, don't I'd do play. it. Bye. We're looking for a new co-host here at Lakeside <laughs> Legends. Don't fucking FaceTime them. Don't FaceTime don't me. Don't FaceTime me. It's like, uh, what if I'm on YouTube? Or what if I'm doing something on my phone? Then, like, who are you to decide that you're going to take my damn phone real estate? <laughs> Dude. And really, it depends on the situation. Like, in my sense, you know, it's like, if we're dating and you want to FaceTime me, what the fuck are you doing? Just come over. Like, whatever. I don't need to Face. You don't need to FaceTime me. You know you what's know? the worst? I want to see you. I want to see what you're doing. I want to see your face. Okay. Then I, let's okay. meet up. I, yeah, yeah. Let's meet up. I get that. But what about people that FaceTime and then they just leave the phone there? Oh, Why don't you just call me on FaceTime speaker? And it's the fucking yeah, roof. Or call or me on speaker. Okay. I don't get that. I'll FaceTime my dad and I'll show him my dogs. Okay, I'm not. Uh, and he'll maybe show a long me what distance. He's working on. Maybe a long distance thing. I can understand it. I'll never FaceTime Josh. Yeah, I'll I don't FaceTime. Never. My mom lives in town. I don't FaceTime her. I FaceTime the people that live in California. My you know what? Lives in Ohio. No, don't FaceTime me. I'm just. Uh, there's no exception for me. You know what? I am only going to FaceTime you from <laughs> oh, this God. point FaceTime forward. Me. I would FaceTime Josh if like we're out somewhere and it's real popping, maybe. I mean, I haven't, but uh, if there's like a lot of females, like, oh, check this but out. But you wouldn't, because I'd either probably You'd be probably with you. probably be with me, yeah. Probably be right? There. Or yeah. you would shoot me a text like, hey, yo, blah, blah, get blah, here. get down here. And I'd be like, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah, dude, FaceTiming is the worst. All right, if you guys want to hear these boys talk about all of this craziness, you'll have to tune in again. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Just keep on <laughs> yeah, going. We will. Thank you. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and do all the things that are going to help this channel grow. Don't FaceTime. Never, ever. <laughs> We're out. <laughs>